hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc it has been a hot minute since i've sit in front of my camera and i gotta say <laughs> i have definitely missed you guys tonight's video i am going to be reviewing the sol de janeiro perfume collection now sol de janeiro has been making quite a lot of noise you guys and i'm kind of late to the bandwagon you probably hear me sing that tune quite a lot i tend not to follow trends sometimes and then i realize i'm being left out and i'm like okay let me just jump on it so i recently went and i had some sol de janeiro products including the newest release from sol de janeiro and i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts because i mean like i was very much intrigued to you know smell these fragrances see what the hype is all about and see if they actually what the hype you guys so if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts regarding the sol de janeiro perfume collection and, and their newest body butter then by all means keep on watching if you guys are new here please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for your continuous love and your kind support so let's just dive right into it. So I recently captured six of the Sol de Janeiro body mists. And I'm going to be starting off with Sheriosa 68, you guys. Now, I actually smelled these um, body mists in Selfridges recently. Because as of recently, Selfridges now has a Sol de Janeiro cubicle or, you know, a little area or whatever. And I was kind of like surprised and excited at the same time. It has one. It has two, well, one in Selfridges and one on the bottom floor in the bull ring. So if you guys are interested, you know, up in here in the UK, check out Selfridges because this is new to Selfridges, new to the bull ring on a whole. And I was over the moon. I was over the moon, as you can possibly imagine. So Sheriosa 68. This, this one has in top notes of pink dragon fruit, lychee essence. In the heart, we're having some Brazilian jasmine, ocean ear, and hibiscus. In the base, we have some sheer vanilla and sun musk. And I gotta say to you guys, I do love the Sol de Janeiro bottles. They are cute, very transparent. I mean, they are very minimalistic, but I do find they're like, you know, they have a nice feel to it. They don't really feel like cheap and, you know, that kind of vibe, even though they are simply body mist. They do have like a nice, you know, clean aesthetic to it, in my opinion. And I love how transparent, you know, the bottles are. You can kind of see the liquid. And this one in particular, I like the blush pink color of this liquid, you guys. So let me just give you guys my thoughts because I've had these, I've had these body mist for a minute. But yeah, I'm just my, I'm just getting to giving you guys my thoughts. So I have been playing around with them a little bit. But yeah, let me just tell you what I think about Sheriosa 68. Now, first things first, this one has somewhat of a Baccarat Rouge smell to it, okay? You do get that kind of like citrusy, fruity, I want to say sweet, sugary, sweet dragon fruit essence in this particular scent. It smells a little bit powdery. It smells sweet. I want to say there is a florally touch in here, so... But this is Baccarat Rouge, a nice refreshing, you know, almost like a fruity, eerie, you know, Baccarat Rouge vibe. But still a different texture to Baccarat Rouge, but very, very nice. It's a really nice scent, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I do love this scent. Now, I actually saw this in store. When I saw it in store and I smelled it, my first impression is still the same. I think it's a really beautiful fragrance, you know. I like um, the light pink vibe to it. I want to say the overall scent smells like a blush pink, fruity floral scent in my opinion. Very nice fragrance to wear during the spring and summertime. Obviously, these fragrances can be worn all year round. This one in particular, I would say it has a decent longevity. I want to say you get at least four, five, maybe even six hours lasting with this one. It lasts on the skin and on the clothes, you guys these are quite decent they definitely don't just slip away you know so i actually rated this scent at a six over ten okay a six over ten quite decent and that is taking into consideration the scent profile longevity presentation you know the overall quality of the fragrance of the body mist on a whole I think this is quite nice, you guys. So this is um, Shiriosa 68. Next up, we have Shiriosa 40, or Sol de Janeiro 40. And this one is in like a, I want to say it's like a coral, peachy pink color. You know, again, the liquid, nice and transparent. I do love the bottles. It just like, these bottles look like sunshine, okay? They look like sunshine, summer vacation, and that kind of vibe, and I'm here for it, okay? So, right before we smell <laughs> Shario Safati, let me just give you guys the notes. So this one has in top notes a black amber plum, 
and creme de cassis. In the heart, we have some jasmine bloom, Brazilian orchid. In the base, we have some vanilla woods and warm musk. So what does Cheriosa Fartis smell like to me? And what are my thoughts? Let's get into it. Okay, so this one has like a sweet, almost spice, plum, vanilla, ambery essence in my opinion. This perfume smells quite similar to Marc Jacobs Decadence, but it's a bit more sweeter. And there is something in here that is a bit more prominent. I want to say perhaps it's the Jasmine Bloom mixing with the orchids. A nice, sweet, almost um, spicy, ambery, woody, plum sweet smelling fragrance in my opinion you get the amber you get the vanilla you get the sweetness it's at the high and it's really really nice okay very nice perfume again this perfume is strong this one in particular is strong in my opinion okay it's strong and it stays on the skin it's quite nice it doesn't smell like a cheap other basic generic scent at all and i think that's very impressive about these sol de janeiro you know body mists they are quite 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 nice you guys and this one again it smells quite complex okay and i do love the scent profile now i would give this one a six out of ten okay nice scent pretty it smells good even smells a bit sexy but that's just how i feel about this one so for me show your safari Definitely worth the splurge, definitely worth the hype, and coming at a 6 out of 10. Beautiful fragrance. Next up, we have Cheriosa 62. This one has a nice, like, ambery, pre amber, peachy liquid, okay? And I do like it. I just love, you know, the they colors on these Sol de Janeiro bottles, the liquids, they just, they're very vibrant and bright and colorful and pretty. And I do, do, I definitely do love that. But let's just get into the notes of Cheriosa 62. This one has in top notes of pistachio and almond, hard notes of heliotrope, jasmine petals, base notes of vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood, okay? And I gotta say to you guys, when I saw the pistachios and almonds in store, I was like, that's very interesting, okay? Woo! You guys, this one right here, it smells like a tropical salted pistachio caramel essence, but it smells, again, tropical. You get that kind of like, almost like a sea salt vibe. It smells a little bit floral and warm, and it smells like sunshine in a bottle. There is a bit of a warmth, like almost creaminess to this one. And I love it. I feel like this one is my favorite, okay? So beautiful. It has a beautiful floral note that comes off. It's kind of like, um, it smells like it has in solar notes in my opinion. It smells tropical, like sunshine, florally. It smells bright and pretty. I love this one. It just smells really ladylike. Ooh, I definitely love the smell of this one. It smells like sunshine skin with sweet almonds and pistachio and caramel, in my opinion, you guys. So, Shoryosa 62, this one is a love. And this one gives you around the same amount of longevity as the first and the second one. About, you know, um, five, six hours, in my opinion. That's what you get from these fragrances. And they stay on the skin and on the clothes. I wore this one. And, you know, again, you take a shower and it's, you know, you're washing it off. It's really nice. I do like that. I am very much impressed with these body mists thus far. So, Cheriosa 62, this one is one of my favorites. And for me, I would give this one a 9.5, you guys. This one is very, very much spectacular in my opinion. So, this is Cheriosa 62. Next up, we have Rio Radiance. And this one is, again, in like a light yellow liquid, okay? Transparent sunshine okay when i look at this bottle all i get is sunshine and i just i like that okay i really do like that so let's give you guys the notes in rio radiance so rio radiance has in top notes of lady coco and warm sand heart notes are solar tuberose ylang ylang base notes are creamy vanilla amber essence now this one took me by surprise i'm not gonna lie okay this one definitely took me by surprise okay Oh, this one smells like warm, tropical, sunshiny, white floral, tuberose. It smells a bit sweet. It just smells so tropical and so beautiful, you guys. It's all about the florals, all about the tuberose, but it's so, so good. 
it has like again a tropical feel but like the slight remnants of coconut i want to say it has like a coconut-esque type of essence not the full coconut but like a coconut water a light you know tropical coconutty feel to it in my opinion beautiful it smells like sunshine okay again it smells like holidays from like vacation and this one took me by surprise because I feel like I don't see a lot of people raving about this one in particular. People mostly go crazy over, yeah, I'll show you the one that people go crazy over. But this one here took me by surprise. And I want to say this is like one of my favorite from Soul Legend there. I'm not going to lie. Smells so good. It warms down. And again, it has in that, has in that sand note. And right, the Lady Coco, that's why I'm getting that, you know, coconut-esque vibe. Okay, that's the reason why I'm getting that vibe. Okay, my bad okay so uh, there is a, a a a very sparkling feel in the heart of this fragrance and i'm guessing it's the solar tuberose mixed it with the warm sand so they kind of pretty much try to create sunshine in a bottle mixed with white florals and they did it quite exquisite i love it you guys i love this fragrance this in my opinion is worth like big but this is a big bottle worthy okay these sold the genera fragrances they come in a 90 ml and a 240 ml real radiance is big bottle worthy you guys and they're quite affordable so you can't go wrong i bought these on sale for about 17 pounds a bottle okay and i think the original price is about 22 thereabouts I probably think I probably I probably think I got them for a little bit cheaper in all. I got them on a really sweet, sweet sale, you guys. And I was like, okay, yes, ma'am, thank you. All right. But the original um the 240 bottle, I think it retails for about 48 pounds. And if you get them on sale, you're in heaven, you guys. You grab them. Real radiance for me is definitely big bottle worthy because I just love this sunshine in a bottle fragrance, in my opinion. So, Sol de Janeiro Real Radiance. This one, I would give it a 9 out of 10, you guys. It's that good. So, <laughs> this is Real Radiance by Sol de Janeiro. So, next up, we have Sol de Janeiro 71. And, I mean, Cheriosa 71. And this one is in a slightly more... Um, a darker ambery color okay the 72 the 62 is in like a peachy ambery shade but this one went a little bit darker so it's more on the ambery side the color i mean and let's just get into the notes of shiriosa 71 this one has a top notes of caramelized vanilla sea salt hard notes are toasted macadamia nut and white chocolates and base notes are taco bean and coconut blossom now when i smelled this in store it smelled like like salted caramel popcorn you guys salted powdery caramel popcorn okay and yeah it smells like biscuits you get the macadamia but it smells like salted caramel vanilla biscuits it smells powdery sweet very much gourmand and very much edible smelling okay beautiful complex sexy delicious smelling fragrance in my opinion you guys this is nice and I understand that this one here also is quite a, you know, a popular pick for a lot of people. And I don't blame them. I can understand why this is a popular pick, why this is a popular fragrance. It smells so good, you guys. I'm not going to lie. This smells really, really good. Now, my partner was like, that smells strange. It smells strange because it's not something that you come across often. Okay, with the scent profile, it smells almost unique. It's very like um memorable, very unforgettable smelling, you know, body spray or body mist in my opinion. And I love that. This is again full bottle worthy. And this one definitely lasts, maybe even lasts a little bit longer than the others because this one has a bit more um a bit more heft to it. It smells more stronger, again, much more complex, beautiful smelling perfume. Now, this one, this can be worn all year wrong, in my opinion. The scent profile is that prominent enough that you can wear it all year round not just during the summertime and i would wear this like in the summer evenings okay like again even um you know beach parties or out for lunch or something like that a nice outing in the afternoon going on to the evening time you could get away wearing this fragrance and i do believe that this fragrance will last on the skin and even give you a bit of protection this is a really nice scent i'm not gonna lie this is definitely full bottle worthy or should i say a big bottle worthy smelling fragrance i think again 
people well for me i am not a big body spray type of girl obviously a body mist type of girl hence why you've never seen me talk about body mists on my channel i'm really not a big you know body mist type of girl but i can see myself basking in these particular scents during the summertime i want to say that the sherry also has prompted me to dive into the world of body mists but um yeah i don't come across a lot of body sprays that smell really really nice but with these ones the quality the scent provide the projection the vibe the presentation they smell worth it all you get me so yeah sherry also 71 is adriana dc approved <laughs> and this one i would give her a 9.5 out of 10 you guys she's that good <laughs> so that's shariosa 71 and next up we have the newest release by sol de janeiro we have the shariosa 59 and this is when you know the brand really piqued my curiosity i saw this purple bottle plus you know popping up everywhere and i was like i need to try that this one of course it comes in this transparent it's, it's a transparent bottle with a purple liquid or is it like a it's like a, I don't, I feel like the bottle is actually lilac. I don't know. Yeah, the bottle is actually tinted lilac. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, it looks as if the liquid is actually lilac, but it's actually the bottle is tinted. So that's lovely. Again, the presentation, this can pass for like the ocean, but again, it leaves a bit lilac-y blue in my opinion. But let's just get into the notes. So this one has in top notes of velvet plum a sugared violet, hot notes of vanilla orchid and whipped amber. And in base, you have some sheer sandalwood and fresh vetiver. And let's just see what this one smells like. Oh, I have something there. Oh, gotta find some way to spray you. Now, this one here smells like a warm, slightly creamy, sweet sandalwood scent, in my opinion, okay? Oh, God, this one smells really good. I'm not gonna lie, okay? This one smells really good. Now, of course, it has in a plum. You do get the slight plum, but you are more getting sandalwood, amber, vanilla. Very warm, soft, almost powdery, creamy, sandalwood, vanilla essence. It smells really nice. It smells like um, it smells like a fragrance that you can wear as a bridesmaid to a wedding, like on the beach. You know that kind of way? It's the scent that you wear um, while you're wearing all white during the summertime, an all white. Just picture yourself in an all white maxi dress on the beach on a cool summer's day. And this is the scent, like this is the vibe. It's a very warm, creamy sandalwood perfume with slight essence of the plum. The plum is not majorly, majorly prominent in my opinion, this fragrance, if not, if so, it is very finely and well blended throughout this beautiful scent, you guys. And I am in love. I like this one a lot because this is a very everyday wear type of fragrance. And even it's spectacular, okay? It's a spectacular everyday wear type of perfume. It smells really good, clean, pretty, elegant. I am very, 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 very impressed with Sol de Janeiro 59. Now, this one here does not project as crazy. It doesn't project like crazy because right now, after I've sprayed all of them on me, the scent that's standing out is, of course, the... Uh, right now, I can smell the Shariosa 68. I'm getting that, like, Baccarat Rouge right now, even though I've sprayed all of them, so I can smell this one. I am getting Rio Radiance as well, projecting on my skin. And even the Shariosa 71 is... I want to say these, um, it's definitely there in the background, but this one and the first one I just told you about is definitely, is projecting a lot more. This one, I don't feel, it's a bit more on the lighter side, a little bit warmer, and it dries on a little bit more closer to the skin. And again, it comes off a bit more creamier. So this one doesn't project to me as much as the others at all. But I don't really care. I feel it's still big bottle worthy, in my opinion. So there's three of these fragrances that I would buy a big bottle of. This one. <laughs> Actually, no. Four of them. <laughs> I would buy a bigger bottle of these four scents from the brand because these are my top favorite from the brand, okay? The Sol de Janeiro 59. 
I would give this one a 9 out of 10. I really, really like this scent, you guys. So that's that one. And while I was at it, I was like, let me just try the new body butter. So I got this one in a small um, container because, again, I've never tried the creams before. But I was, of course, I was intrigued, okay? <laughs> it's only been on everybody's channel, all over Instagram and all that good stuff. Like, people have been raving about it. It's really heavy. And this is what the cream looks like. It comes in, it looks really thick and it's whipped into a, like a dome kind of shape. And let me just tell you guys what I think about the cream. So obviously it's meant to have a thick consistency. Apparently it, um, the other ones don't have as thick of a consistency as this one. Okay. But um, let's just see how I feel. It is quite thick. Okay. When I tried it in store on the day that it was released. I got somewhat of a strange scent. When you initially rub this cream onto your skin, it has like a strange smell to it, okay? But then it settles down into something really, really nice and warm. Again, it has the same scent profile of the body spray, but it's not as sweet. You get more of the sandalwood, but you get more of like an unsweetened sandalwood. Okay, and as it dries down, then you get the ambery, sweet, vanilla touches kind of coming out. I'm not getting plum on the skin at all, okay? So, so yeah, when it comes to the cream, it's in the dry down because the initial application, it's a bit on the strain side. And I do like the consistency. It's not that... It's not that oily. It dries on quite. Uh, skin feels um, moisturized, but it's a bit um, short. Okay. The texture of this body butter, it is thick, creamy, but short. It doesn't have a lot of elasticity, but it does leave a nice like moisture to the skin, in my opinion. But it's not a very oily texture at all. It's nice. Now, I have kind of like sampled the other creams that come from um, Sol de Janeiro. And those creams come off thinner, but much more oilier and a bit more creamier in my opinion. I do like this one. I think I like, I tend to like a thick consistency in my creams. But yeah, I think it's worth layering perhaps the body oil from Sol de Janeiro and the creams and even this one to kind of get like that combined elasticity and that thick creamy you know buttery essence if that's what you like otherwise than that if you like a dry thick creamy cream consistency you would love this one when it comes to the other ones other ones are a little bit more thinner more oily a bit more elasticity to it i tend to like a combination of both of those um characteristics in my creams all in all I like this cream. I'm just impressed. I'm impressed with the colors. I'm impressed with, you know, how it smells. And, the, you know, again, it's just giving me, like, sunshine vibes. And so I am completely sold on Sol de Janeiro, you guys. I think they're really exciting and very playful and really chic. And I definitely like the vibe because you need to have fun with your fragrances. And I find the entire range to be really, really, really fun, you guys. I really want to try the oil. I think it's the Cheriosa 71 oil. Oil. and again i want to add a few more of the creams to my collection and there you have it you guys these are my thoughts on the sol de janeiro collection let me know how you guys feel about the range i've seen quite a lot of people talk about it but then there are a lot of you know the big youtubers out here that i'm not seeing really talking about it unless i just missed it <laughs> as per usual but yeah it's kind of like a a youthful you know attraction in, from what i observe but let me know what you guys think about the sol de janeiro collection as well as the most latest release so these are my thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed this video if in fact you did please give me a very big thumbs up if you guys are new here please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers Thank you guys for your continuous love and your support. Until next time, see you guys in my very next video. Bye.